Hello everybody, it is me, Mr. Vince, and I hope you all have an amazing day today. And in this video, I'm going to be counting down the top three most valuable vehicles in trading. Now before I get to everyone, if you guys have enjoyed, please feel free to leave a like, please feel free to subscribe as well, and please feel free to hit the bell icon to never miss a video. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into the video. The first vehicle in the list is the Beam Hybrid, aka the BMW i8. The Beam Hybrid was first introduced on December 20th, 2020 in the 2020 winter update, which also introduced Season 1 New Beginnings. The Beam Hybrid ended up becoming the rarest vehicle in the game, as there are barely any owners of the Beam Hybrid. Out of all the seasons we have right now, Season 1 was the hardest. It was super hard to grind in the season, and because not a lot of people owned the Beam Hybrid after the season ended, the Beam Hybrid ended up becoming pretty viable in trading. As of right now, the Beam Hybrid is about 3 Brulees and an add, so getting the Beam Hybrid is pretty difficult. Eventually, it will rise in popularity and be even more than the Arachnid, but let me go ahead and show you guys the Beam Hybrid itself. So as you can see, this is the Beam Hybrid in action, and it is a pretty decent vehicle. The Beam Hybrid may not be the fastest vehicle, but it is certainly a really nice looking vehicle. The Beam Hybrid is also the only BMW in jailbreak. But anyway, let's go ahead and jump right into the next vehicle. The next vehicle is the Arachnid. The Arachnid is currently the second most valuable vehicle in trading. The Arachnid was first introduced on December 22nd, 2018 in the 2018 winter update, which also introduced Original Season 1. Players were able to get the Arachnid for 750,000 cash if they have reached level 30 on the COPS team in OG Season 1 or level 5 on the COPS team in OG Season 2. The Arachnid itself does have a really nice looking design, and out of all the OG vehicles in the game, this is my favorite in terms of design. The Arachnid has also received a major bug in the July update as it now has an overdrive gear. The overdrive gear will occur if players have reached about 170 miles per hour with level 5 engine inside the Arachnid. Players can reach up to about 230 miles per hour inside the Arachnid, so this vehicle can be considered as the better version of the Beam Hybrid. So this vehicle is very hard to get because you need to have at least 4 Brulees to get it. The Arachnid was pretty easy to get back in the day, but it ended up becoming more valuable. The Arachnid is probably going to rise more in the future, but with that being said, I still enjoy using the Arachnid, but now it's time to show off the best vehicle in trading. And a lot of you are not surprised about it, so here we go. Yeah, it's definitely not surprising because a lot of you knew that the Torpedo was the most valuable vehicle, and it still is today. The Torpedo, just like the Arachnid, was introduced on December 22, 2018 in the 2018 Winter Update. Just like the Arachnid, players have to have at least 750,000 cash to purchase the Torpedo, and players have to reach level 30 on the Criminals team in OG Season 1, or level 5 on the Criminals team in OG Season 2 to purchase the Torpedo. The reason why the Torpedo is the most valuable is because many people overhyped the Torpedo when trading first came out. Back in the day, getting the Torpedo was extremely easy, but as time passed by, many of the newer Torpedo owners were starting to raise the value of the Torpedo, which made the Torpedo the most valuable vehicle. Currently, by the time I am making this video, the Torpedo is about an Arachnid and a Beam Hybrid, so getting the Torpedo is a lot harder than what you think. And some people assume that the Brulee is better because it has a better top speed. I will not disagree, but the Torpedo is still better in other stats with the exception of Reverse Speed. Because Reverse Speed will definitely be dominated by the Brulee. But with that being said, the Torpedo does a much better job in off-roading, handling, brakes, acceleration, and launch. So it is best that you try to go for the Torpedo when the value starts dropping. Anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did, please feel free to leave a like. Please feel free to subscribe as well, and please feel free to hit the bell icon to never miss a video. But as always, my name is Mr. Vince, I hope you all have an amazing day today, and I'll see you guys in the next video.